They show a picture, they got the aim. They say that man is gold. What's going on? Cut. Alright guys, so we're gonna get into these brows now. I'm gonna go in with my Precisely Brow Pen from Benefits. I absolutely love this. Um, I'm in the color 5. It's a nice dark brown, blackish brown. And like I said, this is the Precisely My Brow Pen. It's super good. I love this, guys, because it makes your hairs look so much more natural. So um, I definitely recommend this if you're looking for more of a natural brow, not so dramatic. And now I'm going to go into my favorite concealer, by Tarte Shape Tape in the color Rich. And then I got this um, concealer pen from Target for, I think... 89 cents and it's super good um so now i'm just gonna comb my brow hairs out so just make sure that all your hairs are standing up sometimes i use brow gel but i don't really like using it because it leaves that white residue but um yeah so now i'm just making sure that i make sure that all the hairs are straight and now i'm drawing a line underneath my brow so what i really think about doing is under underline your bottom brow um that's how you start the beginning of it but underline it straight as if you're like going in a straight line so that your brows look sharp so you see what i'm doing here i'm basically just stroking the hair up but making sure i make a straight line when it goes towards the center part of my face and then I just do the same thing with the top um, I'm outlining my brow like I said um, if you want more dramatic brows you can outline it above where your brow hairs stop but I'm just doing it to where the top of my brow hairs meet and that's why I say it's so important to comb your brow hairs up because your brow hairs stand up taller when they're combed up so um, I'm just going in with my sharp my tart shape tape and um, I'm just putting a dot of it on my hand because you really don't need that much concealer when you're doing your brows um, and you're just underlining your brow again like I said um, what I think of it too is how when you get your eyebrows waxed basically just act like you're waxing your eyebrows okay so you know how like when you tell the wax lady or at least i do when i go how you want like that nice arch that's what i do and i basically use the same method with my brows um so now i'm just blending that down into my eyelid because like i said you don't need that much concealer and then i'm making sure that i'm stroking more darker towards the end of my brows um you're gonna do that for both of your brows when you get towards the end but I usually like doing it once I finish everything so I can like determine how dark I really want my brows because right now I'm just going for a more natural look I don't want them to look too much like I just want them to look like I just just got a wax pretty much so now I'm basically outlining the top of my brows oh my god ridiculous um, and you're gonna do light strokes in the front guys so make sure when you're using this like it can start to get dark even though it's like a natural brow pen it can get dark if you go heavy-handed so just make sure in the front you're going lighter and then towards the end you're a little more heavy-handed but not even that much and once again you take your brush your concealer brush and underline under your brows make sure you blend them make sure you blend the concealer really good under under your brows because it'll leave a line if you just let the concealer sit there and then you'll be able to tell so um, now I'm just making sure I get the top part of my brow um, I'm filling them in and the end of this brow wasn't trying to work with me so I had to keep going over it a couple times um, 
and like I said you got to do short short light strokes in the front and darker strokes towards the end so just make sure you keep that in mind and sometimes you know when you get your eyebrows threaded if you do get your eyebrows threaded they tell you to lift up your eyelid your eyebrow where the arch is that's what I do when I'm doing my brows just to make sure um, one eyebrow doesn't look crazy at the end like see how I'm going over it because that's where my arch is Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Um, I'm gonna just throw on some eyeshadow, but I threw on some lashes, and these are my brows. And I did like a little natural brow. Yeah, clearly as you can see, I need some shadow, but yeah. Is useful to any beginners who are still learning how to do their brows um, I wanted to make this as beginner friendly as possible because as you see I didn't do too much um, the main thing that I could say is I really recommend that you have your brows done before you get your brows before you do your brows because it's easier because technically you're outlining your eyebrow i really hope that this video was informative for you guys um this is super beginner friendly so i really hope that you guys are able to use this and apply it when you're doing your brows i did this really quick this is definitely a technique you could use when you're just in a rush like i was because um i'm on my way to hibachi and um yeah i don't have time to be spending an hour on my brows face So guys, this is the outcome. Um, this is how I do my brows. And I hope that this was super beginner friendly for you guys. Let me know in the comments if you would like, um, if you guys would like a lash tutorial because I've had a lot of people ask me that. So um, I would love to do a video on that for you guys. But let me know in the comments how I did. This video was super beginner friendly. And um, let me know in the comments if I did good or bad. Because this is my first tutorial on my brows. And I usually take my time longer. But I was in a rush. So I just hope that um, I was able to explain it as best as I could. And I love you guys so much. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.